If you were planning to buy or sell a house before the coronavirus hit, you may be wondering how is COVID-19 affecting the way that real estate is being sold now? Well, it is business unusual. Hi, I'm Sherry Landon, Douglas Elliman of California, serving the west side of Los Angeles. Wow, this is such a crazy time, isn't it? I hope that you're being careful, staying home, and staying well. The way real estate is being sold has changed for sure. But with that being said, there are still buyers who need to buy and sellers who need to sell. But safety first, we are in compliance with the Safer at Home order. My priority is the safety and health of my clients, our community, my family, and myself. So please keep in mind that the information in this video is based on the requirements in Los Angeles on the day it was shot. Things are continuing to change, so please feel free to call me if you want the latest update. So how is this done now? What are the steps to sell a house now? If you haven't had an appointment with your agent yet, this will now be through video conferencing. In-person meetings are not allowed. You'll discuss what types of marketing will be done to get as many eyeballs on your house as possible. You'll review the market. You'll go over comparable properties that have recently sold, as well as look at some properties that are currently on the market that are similar to your house, but that would be your competition. And then you can talk about pricing strategies to help you decide on your listing price. You may even take your agent through your house through video, just do a video walkthrough because they're not gonna be able to be in the house. And then you can discuss the various aspects of it. This is also a chance to get to know each other better and decide if you both wanna to work together. Right now in Los Angeles, there are no open houses allowed. And the only property that can be shown in person are vacant houses. And there are some new rules to go along with that as well. Only two people from the same household and one agent, either the listing agent or the buyer's agent, not both, can be in the house at one time. Masks and gloves, as well as social distancing, are also required. Since in-person showings of occupied properties, it's not allowed right now, buyers will see those properties through photos, videos, and virtual tours. If they like what they see, a few things that they might do are wait until the safer at home order is lifted and then they can finally get in to see the property. They could submit an offer subject to interior inspection once that order has been lifted and they can go inside to see the property. Or they could submit an offer to purchase without ever touring the property and just move forward with the transaction. For a variety of reasons related to COVID-19, there are fewer buyers than normal actively searching for a house right now. But the ones that are, are serious. Some other potential buyers may be waiting to see how this all plays out. Some had a majority of their down payment funds in the stock market, and so when that went down, they had to step aside until it picks back up again. And then some are just too busy working at home and homeschooling their children. So, the bottom line, there are buyers who want and need to buy and sellers who want and need to sell. You just have to be thoughtful and careful about how that gets done. Also, once this crisis is more under control, there will likely be more pent-up activity from buyers and sellers who have been sitting on the sidelines. So there'll probably be more competition at that time as well. So there's a lot of uncertainty right now, for sure. We as a company are on lockdown, working from home, with the exception of listing and showing vacant properties. It's the responsible thing to do. We owe it to our community to do our part to help others and ourselves stay safe. Wherever you are in the process, I'd be happy to jump on a call with you and discuss your situation. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you found this helpful, please comment, like, and consider subscribing. I do new videos every week and I wouldn't want you to miss a thing. Until next time, stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy.